Hello, Miss Pervez here and welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome. As kids grow, we end up having so much stuff around as toys, clothes that they grew out, even the kitchen equipment. So one of the best way to get rid of all of the unnecessary things or outgrown things is to have a garage sale. I have recently had a garage sale due to me closing down the um, family daycare, which had a lot to do with uh, children's toys, uh, some old uh, clothes that my kids are grown out, and some things that just I haven't used for a very long time, and it was time for them to find a new home. So one of the things that I found very difficult to do when you have a garage sale is to price your things. How do you price? So my approach to pricing was to find a full priced unused item exactly the same or very similar to the one that I will be selling and reduce it by half. And after this, have your minimum price to what is your bottom line and that range from the half of the unused item to the um, your minimum would be the negotiation range, range that you would be willing to sell that item for. The second thing was to advertise. How do you actually get people to come to your house, uh, to your garage sale? So what I did, I've created the online advertising campaign for my garage sale. It probably sounds really complicated and a lot of and very time consuming, but believe me, it was not. Um, in Australia, we have a website called Gumtree, and I think it's very similar to American Craigslist. So you create the advertising in the uh, I created the advertising in the Gumtree saying that I've got a garage sale at a certain date and the certain time that I will be open um, and just show the pictures of the items even if they're not outside on the garage yet just the items that you will be selling at the garage sale and also in the description you need to pretty much say what you're going to sell even if you don't have a picture if they're kids clothes kids toys just uh, just put it out there so the people actually know what you're selling and what you, they're going to look for. Another thing to advertise also is your big items. For example, I had a big pram, which I wouldn't be able to just sell at the garage sale. This is a very niche market for the prams because it was a four-seater pram. Um, so I, uh, I just took a picture of the actual pram and put the advertising for that particular pram. However, in the description for the pram, I also stated that the pickup is at the garage sale. People who would want to come and pick it up would actually want to pick up some extra items as simple toys, books, or clothes, or any other little bits and pieces that I would like to get rid of. The next thing where I got a lot of customers coming from is a Facebook advertising. I, it was not paid advertising, so what I did is um, there are lots of uh, Facebook groups for parents, families, mums, um, recycling, ki recycle kids' uh, toys or swipe and sell and a lot and a lot of them in Sydney and I'm sure there are plenty of uh, such of, um, Facebook groups um, all around the world. So what you do is you just advertise that such campaign is coming, such a garage sale is coming, and this is exactly what I will be selling on the garage sale. However, don't forget to advertise single items, just exactly exactly like I did on a gum tree. Just take the pictures of the big items, the ones that are actually going to be pricey. So the people who are looking for those specific items can come and pick up the little bits and pieces as well. The third problem that I face uh, having a garage sale is to the question was do I put the price on everything or do I wait for people to ask and this um, I think sometimes people could be a little bit embarrassed to ask the price or a little bit shy so whatever the reasons are it's probably better to actually put some sort of the a price range of what things would be costing 
or what your expectations are. So what we did, we had separate tables for separate, or separate areas, I should say, not separate tables, but separate areas to where um, the chip things that cost one dollar were, um, then the books, um, and as people come in, I would just say the books are two dollars, um, the baby books are one dollar, and all of the toys, two dollars, and things like this, it's just simple, and people understand what your expectations are, and they could negotiate for as many items they want to take, they would probably offer you a different price as well. Uh, the fourth thing that I discovered was uh, when to actually have your garage sale. I decided to have a garage sale on two days. So we spread out on two days. Um, the weather wasn't perfect, but it was the best uh, the best timing. So we had a Saturday garage sale, which was in the afternoon because lots of parents um, and families have all the kids or it just depends on the children that you have, um, the age of the children that you have. So most of the, a lot of children have uh, some extra activities in the morning on Saturday. So the better range to have a garage sale is afternoon. So on Saturday we had a garage sale from 12 o'clock in the afternoon until 3 p.m. Which was very, very good. So I didn't have to spend my whole entire Saturday um, doing the garage sale and sitting outside of my house, um, which is not very, very appealing, I have to be honest. And the second day was Sunday. So for the Sunday we did from 9 o'clock to 12 p.m. So there was a three hours in the morning, um, which was absolutely fantastic if people had some plans in the, on a Saturday and they couldn't make it, so they came on Sunday morning or vice versa. And the last and fifth thing that I discovered and actually was a little bit of a problem, problematic. So the last thing was, what do you do with the items that you haven't sold? Do you keep them? Do you throw them away? Or what do you do? So at three, about three o'clock, or whatever time you choose. So at the last minute, I advertised on, um, I put another advertising on Gumtree and I put another advertising on Facebook groups that all of the items are for free just because I wanted to get rid of every single thing because I didn't want to keep it. I made money and um, those items, they were just pretty much for free and because we moved, I don't want, I, I don't need them. And you wouldn't believe how many people have came and just picked up things that they, they wanted to. Um, and that was a very, very easy way to get rid of the, the rest of the things that I just simply didn't need. So those are my tips on how to have a perfect garage sale and, and get rid and recycle uh, children's toys and children's toys and outgrown clothes and the rest of the items that we as parents not necessarily use anymore. So if you like that video, don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.